Hi, my name is Walter Montero. I'm a real estate and mortgage agent here in Cambridge, Ontario, and I've had the privilege of serving our community since 1987. Over the years, I've met some great people here in our community in many different businesses and walks of life. Some, of course, are well known, and others are some of the best kept secrets in town. So the purpose of this podcast is to share and introduce them to you. Welcome to the I Love Cambridge podcast. Your first name is pronounced, I know how it's pronounced, it's Elisa, right? Elysia. Elysia. Elysia Nedge. That's right. The Very real good. way. <laughs> that is the proper <laughs> pronunciation, isn't it? That is proper. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I get everything with Very my good. name. <laughs> Perfect. And uh, the name of your company is, uh, fa- is it Fabric? Yes. Fabric Architects. Fabric. Okay. Tell us a little bit about what you guys do. Yeah, so um, we're an architectural um, professional consulting service uh, or business, and um, we we offer anything from um, you know design to permit drawings. Um, we help clients sometimes with feasibility studies, so helping them um, determine what the possibilities are for their potential sites um, in terms of a development opportunity. Um, but yeah, we, we can take a project from, you know, concept all the way through to the, the construction. Perfect. Okay. Um, so now let me ask you what, uh, you brought up, uh, something there. Um, when you, when you, um, when you say you, uh, you can consult clients on feasibility of a project, um, mm-hmm. how does that, how do your services differ from what, a, say a planner would would uh, you yeah. know, sort of get involved? Yeah, no, that's a great question, actually. So, um, I mean, planners definitely have a role on the a lot of the zoning regulations and so forth. Um, but we, you know, we can do a high level planning analysis, a zoning analysis, and then also take the client's vision and, and their, you know, growth strategy and develop that into something architectural, right? Um, seeing how the building can fit within those regulations or, you know, a grouping of buildings and so forth. Um, so we have a pretty, you know, broad spectrum of understanding from the planning side to also the building and, and the building code as well. So, um you know, the, the nice thing is we can help clients guide them in the right direction um, towards, you know, a proper or future development for their site. Okay, perfect. So who is, who's your ideal client? Who are you typically dealing with? Um, yeah, so our, our business is developing to have uh, four sectors. So we've got um, the multi-residential sector where we do, you know, condominiums, apartment buildings, and so forth. Um, we've got the commercial sector. So working with, um, you know, business owners, um, working on, you know, projects for like offices for their building or for their retail space and so forth. Um, we also work with the government clients. So we've got public sector clients as well. Um, so cities and municipalities. Um, and then uh, another one of our, our sort of niche markets is the very custom single residential type of work. So um, people looking to do additions to their house or build a custom home as well. So uh, we really focus on creative design solutions for our clients. Um, So anybody looking for, you know, uh, a creative vision is sort of our ideal clients, clients looking to sort of um, do something uh, different and, uh, and want the experience of designers. That's where I think we, um, we could be a best value to our clients. Okay, perfect. So obviously, uh, you know, this type of environment, this type of real estate where environment we're having now is mm-hmm. probably keeping you guys pretty busy. It is actually, I think we're, we're one of the fortunate uh, industries. Um, I think in our office right now, uh, we're very lucky to have projects in all stage in all of our sectors, but also uh, in the design and early conceptual stages. So it's really nice to see you know, people still thinking about the future and and wanting to build and construct. Um, so we've been very fortunate that way to have um, to have uh, design work on the table right now. Perfect. Now, at what at what point um, at, at what point do you guys sort of detach from the job? Uh, are you do you work in conjunction with the contractor? Can you refer people to a contractor? Like if it if it, the project gets to that to that uh, level? 
Yeah, most definitely. So, um, you know, we, we, in most cases, get started with a project um, at the early design stages. And, uh, and then we really, you know, we help guide our clients to what their um, next steps are in terms of construction. So there's various options in the industry. Um, and so if, if the client is looking for referrals, if they have no contractors they've worked in the past, you know, we have a very good um, network of, you know, great qualified uh, contractors for any of the sectors in which we work in. Um, so we're able to make those recommendations. Um, also, sometimes the client already knows who they're going to work with. So we will, um, but they also want the architect as part of the construction process. So we would, you know, um, we would be involved. Like we, we have the capabilities to be involved and just monitor that the design intent of our projects is being executed through construction. Um, and in doing so, that, we work collaboratively with the contractors. Um, to make sure that the, the client is getting the best uh, final uh, product. So it depends on the needs of the client, but we're very flexible. We do work with like, we, you know, we can take it up to the construction documents, but we're uh, more than capable to support through what the industry calls construction administration. So supporting in administrating those construction contracts. Um, we have a very qualified team that uh, you know, has a lot of construction experience that can support uh, and help projects successfully complete. Okay, perfect. Now you're located here in Cambridge? Yes, that's right. Our office is in downtown Galt um, okay. uh, on George Street. Okay, perfect. And uh, how, how far will you guys go? Like what, what area do you service? Yeah, so uh, we kind of service anything within Ontario. Um, we've got projects out in Barrie right now, uh, Wellington and Prince out, uh, Edward County. So oh, we're starting to really, really stretch uh, outside of this uh, KW area um, and, and Cambridge. So yeah, we'll go anywhere. Um, we'll go anywhere, I guess, within Ontario. Good, okay. So if, uh, if somebody uh, wants to use your services, at what point should they... Uh, consider calling you guys? Um, you know, I tell clients anytime they're starting to think about a construction project, um, just trying to understand like what the next steps are. Sometimes we find that clients really don't know where to start, especially with some such an undertaking, you know, be it, you know, as simple as your own residential renovation or addition to your home or a big development property, uh, a development project that you've been sitting on. So you've had a piece of land that you know you're gonna develop eventually, but you just don't know what the best um, you know, strategy forward is. Um, I think it's really important to get the architect involved at that early stage because um, we're able to very quick, quickly work with you through some very um, basic options and, and, and give you sort of the things to expect and really put into perspective what the next steps need to be, what to expect with the city, um, the cities, the municipalities, the, the townships, what, what be it, right? We have enough experience to guide somebody in that early stages to make the right decisions for their project. Okay, perfect. So it, it basically sounds the earlier, the better. For sure. Yeah, the earlier, the better. Um, <laughs> But uh, that's not to say we don't sometimes, uh, you know, get the panicked clients who've started into something that, you know, maybe is a little bit uh, over their heads or, or more yeah. complex yeah. than they maybe imagined. Um, I mean, and then we're still able to come in and support and kind of peel it back and, and, and get them on the right track. So we can do that as well. Good. Perfect. It, it almost sounds like if somebody's got their eye on a project, if they're able to do it in today's, in today's market, which is a little bit... Uh, I mean, very competitive. If they can make yeah. a, uh, some sort of contingency offer and then ha yeah. having a consultation with you guys, it probably sounds like a mm -hmm. prudent thing to do. Yes, most definitely. Um, you know, we, we do offer hourly consultations um, just to review options. And sometimes um, we've seen clients benefit from that, you know, a few hours of consultation with an architect uh, before getting themselves into, you know, a, a really dangerous uh, development opportunity uh, and just things that they maybe haven't, you know, considered that could end up becoming problems um, later down the construction. So, yeah, definitely earlier the better. <laughs> For sure, for sure. And then in terms of uh, even dealing with uh, uh, like potential environmental issues, you guys handle all of that stuff as well? Um, 
Well, we can guide, we have certain knowledge, um, but there are times when certain things are with outside of our scope. Um, but we, the, the really nice thing with, with what we can offer is we can direct you to the right people. So those sort of things would never be new to us, um, but we have um, enough contacts within our network to be able to direct clients to the right, um, to the next professional that, that they would need to connect with. Okay, good. And uh, how, how long have you guys been in business? Um, so I've started the practice about three years ago. Um, so yeah, three years. <laughs> good, very good. And you, are you one of the principals? Yes, I was the founding. I'm. I was the founding principal of Fabric Architects. And, okay. Uh, yeah. Excellent. So, what what inspired you to get into this field? Um, well, uh, my background and my training is in architecture. I went to the architecture school here in uh, in Cambridge. Oh wow! Uh, right. The University of Waterloo. So. Um, yeah, I've always been passionate about architecture, but most importantly, I've been passionate about, um, about design and the influences design can have on, on communities, on people in our lives. And so the vision for my firm is really about creating architecture that's meaningful and create architecture that's going to create wonderful spaces for all and not just for a certain group of people. So I think that the vision in creating my studio is really about creating a design focused architectural practice. And so that's what we strive to do every day. Um, that's the way that I build my team is with people who are also very passionate about architecture and about design and about you know transforming our cities into something greater. Awesome, very good. And uh, are uh, other architects on staff or is it just you? Um, we have, right now it's just myself as a licensed architect. We have, um, we've got, two, um, no, three, actually three intern architects who, uh, you know, it's just a matter of time, they will also become licensed. And um, the other staff is all designers. So they all have the design training um, from, you know, credible architectural schools in, obviously in the area, lots from Waterloo. Um, yeah. But yes, we've got, um, everybody is, has an architectural background of some sort. Excellent, okay, perfect. And uh, is there anything in particular that uh, you think our audience should know in terms of, you know, uh, they want to hire, uh, you know, your company for your services? What are the questions they should be asking and, um, and why should they be asking you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, definitely there are, I think in our industry, there are different people who can offer different services. Um, I think the architectural profession has very, um, you know, has a certain value that they can bring to a project. And, and that I think is a very interdisciplinary approach to, to design and to project delivery. So, um, you know, I think it's, it, it's important for people to reach out to an architect if they have, you know, if they are considering a big project or even a small project, there is so much value to having that professional opinion um, and then determine whether or not it is an architect that you need or if you can get your services done a different way. Um, but, you know, it, it's, it's very important to kind of do your research early on. And, uh, I mean, we're happy to, to consult with the potential clients and understanding if, if they do actually need our services. So, okay, perfect. Now, just one thing that sort of popped into my mind. So once, once somebody hires you, they, you know, they get your consultation, all that kind of stuff. Are, are you the ones that are dealing with the municipalities in terms of permits and, and all that kind of thing? Yeah, correct. We, we do most of that. Like we're kind of a, you know, take it off the client's hand. We definitely can do all the project management. All of our more uh, senior staff is trained to do project management for clients. So we really, we act, um, this is something I didn't mention yet. We can act like a prime consultant. And what that really means is we can take your project. Um, we can engage the proper engineering team that needs to be a part of the, of your construction project, which there is always, you know, the need for a structural engineer, mechanical, electrical, um, whatnot. And so as the lead architect on your pro on, on your project, we would be able to, you know, um, hire those consultants for the team coordinate and collaborate as needed to to be able to develop the project so um yeah we can definitely uh not just with consultants but then we also with the city right we do all of that kind of um 
you know, coordinating back and forth with the city. Some clients decide to take that on themselves, but we definitely have the experience to do that and, you know, keep it easier for the client. Yeah, for sure. I, I totally get it. I, I, I've been around the industry for a long, long time and, and you yes. guys speak a different language. So I think it's very much, very important to have somebody uh, with credentials like yourself to, uh, to be the liaison mm -hmm. Uh, between you know the client or even the contractor in in the municipality for sure. Mm -hmm. Awesome, yeah. very good. Well, that's great. I think you got a winner there. That's uh, that's uh, great. Great to uh, meet you. Is how do, how can people get a hold of you if they need their if need your services? Um, yeah, that well, they can uh, contact us via email. Um, we are actually really excited to announce that we're launching our new website next week. So oh, uh, once good. that's up and running, um, you can, you, you'll be able to see our work and you'll also be able to connect through us right, to, uh, right from our website. Um, we're also on, you know, on social media, Instagram, Facebook, um, and LinkedIn. So lots of ways to connect with us. If, uh, if this wasn't COVID time, we'd also welcome you to stop by our office over on George street. Um, but that's not possible quite yet. So hopefully in the near future, um, that will come back as well. Awesome. Elysia, thank you so much for your time. It was great meeting you. And uh, I'm, glad, I'm always glad, happy to meet a fellow Portuguese uh, citizen in Cambridge. <laughs> yes, likewise. Okay, great you bet. You. Have Take a great care. week. Yeah, okay. bye-bye.